But when I said in my car outside waiting for Richard who was here tonight, it was being a great help. I just rang the number on the window and I said, look, I'm thinking of doing this idea, I have an idea. And he said, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, there's the keys. <laughs> he gave me the keys on the Wednesday, I was here on the Friday, and I'm standing here and I'm looking down and I said, right, what do I need? And it was literally a warehouse. And I started off with the, um, I know somebody that has a double glazed window and a front door. I had seen it in his back garden. And I asked him for it and he said, yeah. And then I was lying in bed and I said, I need to get boards. And I remember there was a, a graffiti festival in Smithfield about eight years ago, and they gave me the graffiti boards, and I had most of the colours on book, and they were still there. Now they were warped. An architect actually came at the structure one day, and he said, why did I design it this way? I said, because of the boards. He said, what about the boards? I said, they were all warped. And that's where the design came from. I was going to walk on the boards. And then the heat was getting me the timber, and people came in and gave me different things. And then I just said, well, I just need the money now. <laughs> And I won't tell you how I got that. <laughs> but it all just came into place. And I was able to express myself. But not only what I felt, but a lot of people. I mean, we all say that, you know, you know we give out and we are, and we, you know. I mean, you know, Robert, 25, 30 years ago, if you sneezed, the yeah, you would have the strike. You know, where are they today? What's been, why are we allowing this to happen? You know, and I feel now that I am a voice, not so much me, but this thing is. Like, I have TV crews in here every day of the week since I opened this. From all around the world, from Brazil to Japan to China. I mean, I'm not joking. Brazil, it's, it's, it's gone far. <coughs> but I'm able to express what people feel here. So I feel I am a voice. And, I, I, and I'm proud to be that. You know? And the downside of that is that you know, people know me. Like, people know my situation. They know where I'm at. But hey, that's where it's at. So it's just a bit of honesty, you know? And that's all it is for me. And, you know, I always wanted to do art, but I never thought I was an artist. 